Okay, just a quick video to kind of go about, uh, talk about the interior panels. And obviously you see, if you follow the forum post, you'll also see where I'm telling you that it's a lot easier to do it, put them in now, pre-fit them and everything now, uh, before you have the fabric on. It's much easier and safer to uh, work on now than uh, after you've got the cover on, because you'll have to come in and drill these holes all along there, you know, and then you drill it out towards the fabric. Of course, you can put a drill stop on there, but what if it screws up? <laughs> you punch a hole in your fabric. So it's much, why not go ahead and do it right now, get it completely done, and you take your panels out, put them away. When you're finished and almost ready to go flying, you can pop them in as about the last thing. The first thing I do, you can see, is I go ahead and put some tape down right up next to the edge, all the way down the line. And I'm actually going to do something because we're doing it different than the manual. And this is all in the finished manual, uh, by the way, not in the fuselage, but in the finished manual, it talks about installing the interior panels. And it's pretty good, except that um, a lot of the holes that they call out, the dimensions for where you drill the holes are not right. They're just not just totally wrong. <laughs> They're, they just don't, they don't work out. So I, I kind of look at what the, their idea is. They want three Three's going into one section. I'll make sure I put three in, but I'll just put them out spaced, you know, nicely. It doesn't matter. You're just trying to secure it. Um, another thing that we do is these uh, are, are drilled out with another t number 10 uh, drill bit. Those are actually designed to fit the plastic uh, rivets that that they use. They insert just the little black plastic pieces, and they're two-part, and the bottom part slot. You have to push it in. And then once it's all into the hole and you push the top part down and it goes in and widens it so it kind of holds it in place. And they are an absolute pain. I hate them. And I've started going to nut plates along with a lot of other people. So so we just go ahead and install nut plates onto the floor floorboard and the adjo adjoining uh, parts. And it makes it uh, much easier. You can get the, some people just put a, 526, you know, regular screw into it. I'll go ahead and get Cub Crafters has some covers. Uh, it's a little plastic parts, a little black covers. Well, kind of like you can see, like right here. See, so these are screws here, but you cover them with a cover. So there's a bottom piece, the screw goes through it, and then when the screw's in, and you just snap this top part on it. This looks real nice. And Cub Crafter sells those. I'm sure you can get them somewhere else too, but I'm thinking I bought the nut plates and the um, little black pieces, you know, for like 60 bucks or something to, from Cub Crafters. And I, got, I think I got like 65 of them. I have to go back and recount. But I think you're close to 55 or something holes that we have to do. So in any case, when you're drilling these holes, then we're using a, I'm using Clecos. These are gold Clecos. They're 3 16 inch Clecos, not the copper ones like you use for the number 30 drills, but these are number 10 holes. Now the gold ones work, work good. Okay, also by covering it now, you can see it's much easier to get to. This is the base of the floorboard right here, see? This is actually where the two surfaces join together on the inside. That's these, with these parts here, see? Down through there where I mark them and then do it. Same thing over on that side. The two pieces join together along here I've marked. I had Clecos in every one. I'd pull some of them out after I had that side finished to use them over here because I didn't have that many Clecos. But the first thing you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to uh, install this middle left panel. And the reason is because it'll be pre-cut out with a hole here for your tension knob for your throttle and your prop comes through so that so you'll fit it so it goes over that. And it'll also be cut out, pre-cut out with all, this should be already all installed just like this. And you have, of course, the middle hole for your fuel selector and the, for your plunger here, which is your stop uh, to keep it from going to off without being pushed in later. And then your two screw holes up there. So that's already there. So that's got that piece is predetermined that that, will, that piece has to go in place first and then you'll fit everything else after that piece. <laughs> Remember the fuel selector. And I'll tell you, another thing is is if you can do this before you put your fabric spacers on. And the reason is, you can see here, there's one more hole behind here. So putting that nut plate on 
it's much harder since you can't get to that hole. You have to drill it with an angle drill here, see, and go in sideways with an angle drill to get it in. And since I, I'm doing things different because I've got a lot of back ordered parts and I'm trying to do workarounds just to keep moving. So ordinarily I would have done this before I put the fabric spacers in. So but in any case, I'll still I just use a pop rivet instead of a squeeze rivet and I can get behind it with some long pliers holding the nut plate up and then put a, pull a pop rivet through there. The rest of them, I'll just use cheap squeeze rivets on there. So in any case, what's nice is that, again, is that, is that the, the manual is pretty good on this. It's in the finished manual. But uh, the, a lot of the dimensions they call out for putting the holes in here are not right. If you start doing it like they say, they don't show line up like they show on the uh, charts. I know a lot of those bottom ones down through, they just don't line up. They just, so I just kind of throw it out. I look at the manual and I'll kind of see, well, in this section here, see I got a section here. And the manual doesn't really show these cutouts, but that floorboard stops here and it goes to here. And I look in the manual, they, they call out for three. I got, I've already pulled the Clecos out, but they were in there as I went. I put one every time, but see there, here, and here. So I put three, three in. I just put one at a nice distance off of there. I put another one, you know, now this one is not normal because this, this panel where they join together does not come up against the floorboard. Uh, because it's an adjoining service and because we've got extra room to bring this is the heat duct uh, for the rear uh, heater. This fuselage I got has this one as a separate piece, okay? All the ones I had before, this was actually molded into that middle piece and it's kind of a pain because you had to push it up through here to get it in and out. So what they did was, was made it a separate piece now. It goes through here with three screws and then it'll be attached on this side with screws and cap covers also. So you'll notice when you put that on, there's a little bar right here, a little mini tube going up and down. It actually goes over that. So you'll put that panel in and you'll slide this in over there and it slides up, sticks out there. And this will connect of course to the uh, heater duct that'll be coming in right here through the cow and this area here, here somewhere and come down and connect a, a hose to it. So that goes on, goes on over it. Also notice that how this fuel line, you know, is we've got one of the fuel lines, which we routed up across here. Normally has a lot of room. Now it's kind of pushing it out. So I'm going to look at, at that again. I may take this off and move it over here a little more. So I still get my downhill, but not have it touching so much. This was a new one, new thing to me here, but if you'll put your panel in place and then put that in place around on the outside of that bar. Okay. And, uh, so I take the, this top piece here. This is the top of this piece. I'm gonna bring it over so it's flush with the edge. Okay, it'll come way on over. Well, I just take duct tape. See, and I just duct tape to hold it in place. You're gonna have Velcro. This is gonna be Velcroed uh, later. Of course, you don't wanna do it now because we're gonna cover first up over where this knot is, but when this is off, the, the cover is gonna come up over and then the fabric will wrap back underneath here. So a very strong joint here. Um, so don't put any Velcro or anything on here yet. You can still, you can put them on the inside. It gets Velcro there. It gets Velcro where these two panels meet over here. And it gets a little patch of Velcro over. You can hardly see it through the paper, but where the, where the cross tube goes, where you mount the rear seat. And you have to cut out the little keyholes like this right here, see? Once you get these panels in place, I just take a drill, a big drill, and drill a hole through there and use the drill itself to round this out. Then you take a little rat, rat tail file or a round file and drill it out just enough where the end of that will come in here and you can slide it in and pop it in and then finish it off nicely. Same thing on the other side, just coming from the back side with it. But I don't, and while we're talking about it, this is more of a cover item, but it's something that I'm, quit doing is that for some reason the manual and stuff they say to come down here an inch and put tape and then pre-glue with poly tack here and the same thing coming down here and it, it's always very hard to make it look really nice and the reason is that when you put a glue line like that they're going this is a pre-glue so they want you to glue it 
and you know put a tape down there pre-glue it let it dry and later when you bring the fabric up run mek across it to activate it and, but i don't know why you do that it's, it's always a nasty looking line you can kind of see where that glue is uh, under the fabric later you know, under the paint and everything it's always kind of a, a it just doesn't look the same and there's no reason to do it because the fabric is going to come up wrap and then you can glue it solid to the top of the window frame here and then we can wrap we're going to wrap it over you can you can in fact you can cut it razor it off if you want to but i'll take it just go ahead and bring it back over a half inch underneath there even and i'll just pull it as i do it i'll just pull the fabric over i'll put glue down here pull the fabric tight just like you do in any other area get it down nice and then wrap it under and there's no reason to put a glue line here i, I don't get that so i would i would leave that off you'll be a lot happier with how pretty it looks and then this is going to go on top of that okay but this will have velcro across the top of it they're also calling for velcro at top the tops of the rear pieces where they go over the windows there and there okay and then like i said another little piece of velcro just where the a little bit on either side that say how far but it looks like maybe two or three four inches either side of the holes where you're going to put the seat in i guess that's just to make sure you really hold that in, a, in the perfect spot where that hole is straight through so it doesn't shift a little bit. These panels over here, of course, are coming underneath those lips, okay? There's a little lip right here, a lip there, and a lip there. So to make this all fit, I put the, this middle piece in and then take the front and back piece, so I'll take the, actually take the front piece and I'll get it to where it'll come together nicely. Right there is the joint between the two pieces. You can see where I've got them marked and drilled there and then this will slide forward enough to where then you can get it behind the lip here there's a lip right there slide it behind that lip and so that you can then bring it back so when you bring it back it goes into there enough to where these two surfaces here meet you'll see where there's it's indented already on one side so you want a nice straight you see the duck the, the the regular masking tape i have here i bring them together with my hands where they look pretty and i put masking tape right over the joint okay and then that's holding those together then I go mark my holes. I measure my holes. These were, I think, five measurements of two inches each coming up off this last hole. So two inches, mark it two inches, two inches, two inches, two inches. And then I believe you have to look, they're different, but I don't remember if it was a uh, half of an inch edge distance or whether it's 0.6, a lot of them are 0.6. But you just measure back off and I put a cross on it. That's where I drill my holes, put my Clecos as I go. These are all on the outside again. And, you know, I put tape down on the inside. Now, this tape will stay here until I'm finished installing, okay? And what I've actually done, when I put the holes in, see that hole there? Then I come back and I put a mark with a little arrow. See, I'm pointing right to where that hole is in that floorboard, okay? I know where the hole is on these panels, but I don't want if I'm installing it, for the, then I want to know where that hole is. And so that tells me real quick, I can shift it over this way or that way. And of course, then once you get a couple of them going, they'll all line up anyway. But that's an easy thing to do. I put that tape down and again, uh, mark it. And I'll leave that there until it's finished, until I install the, the panels for the final time, about the time to get the rig go, go flying. Now, we put this center panel in. We've done it because we matched it up with the fuel selector. Uh, and made it that all fit nice. So this panel has to fit nice first. Once it's fitted, then I'll come back up here. You can see here where these are the two pieces that are joined. Now, both of these in, uh, front panels will install. So you see this is the, the tube that's coming uh, outside uh, or, or where the firewall is gonna come down right here, okay? So to keep this off of the pedals, this when you install this you don't install it over this way everything else in there is going over the tubes but in this case it's going to tuck behind this tube and that keeps that panel from coming in on these pedals later we've heard stories of a lot of people who didn't do that right and they put the panel up here and of course it'll come back over and you'll actually rub on it with these pedals so it goes on the back side you can then take a straight edge i'll just take a long i use this a lot of metal straight edge and this this tube is actually recessed. It's not it's not completely out to where that's going to be. It's kind of hard because that's on there. But if you go where the actual mounts are, see that's where the bottom 
that's touching the bottom place where the engine mount is going to hit, and this is the top part. So then you can see, so you actually got a little bit of a space there still, even though it's flush with the outside of the tube. So it can go beyond, you know, if you pull it forward, you can go beyond this tube a little bit, but just get you a straight edge when you're done and make sure it's right. You can always trim it off uh, if you need to. But this, by putting it in here, then you can push, slide it forward. It'll even come even further forward. Here's where we talked about they had a cutout for this fuel line to come through. And so that's when I was, when we were talking about fuel lines in the video, you remember I told you to fit this panel or bring this panel in before you did these standoffs because this piece has pre-cut out. See, these little areas are already cut out there and there for these standoffs. <laughs> See? See right there, there, and there. So they're already there. And when you put that panel in, it's going to go underneath there and it needs to have your standoffs here. It doesn't give you any measurements on where to put these stands off, stand offs. And so every kit I did, I would put them on there somewhere and then get ready to install this right when I'm getting ready to go flying. And of course it was hitting these stand offs and I had to go ahead and move the stand offs from the inside, which is a pain. So just do it right the first time. I actually give you a measurement uh, from this weld joint from the front of this pillar here out to where that is. I think it was 10 inches or something like that. And this was like 12 and a quarter or whatever. But if you look in my forum post, I'll tell you, if you want to bring this panel out, I'll tell you how far out to put this one, how far out to put this one from that joint right here where this comes down. So in any case, this panel is going to go in. And then, of course, what you're trying to do again is to come back in here. So you've got these where they join together. You know, one is recessed. So the other one fits down in it, you know, so it should be a nice smooth fit. Get them lined up, put your duct tape to hold them together, make your measurements, and then drill them and Clico them. Uh, same thing on the other side. So we're going to fit it so it goes underneath that lip, okay? Um, I'm, I'm in kind of a fix here because I'm back ordered forever, I guess. The bag excess baggage frame, okay? And so I haven't installed my side panels. This stringer is just temporarily set in place with clamps. I've put all the other stringers in, but this baggage door goes in and you fit it perfectly. And then after it's fit, then all these panels you secure. And then this bottom stringer you bring up to touch, actually touch the bottom of the frame. And then we're gonna fill that in with body filler later along with our pieces here and here. But also, since I haven't got that done, I can't put my back floor piece in yet and fit it because we have to drill it out and match drill to the back of this, these holes. So I can't do that until that's all secured. So <laughs> since I can't do that, I can't do the bottoms of these panels or the backs yet because I don't have anything here to go to because this bottom floor piece has, has the sides that come up that we'll actually drill into to install the nut plates in my in my case. I think I mentioned that the Clecos you use are 3 16ths or gold Clecos. They'll hold them in place for these number 10 holes we're drilling. If you're going to put nut plates in, which are much, much easier than those vinyl push-in rivets, then uh, you can order the little covers. See the little covers like that? And that's a two-piece deal. The bottom part, once you got it ready to go, you put the screw through the bottom part, screw it in, and then you just, once it's screwed in, you just pop this cover over and it looks so much nicer. So a lot of people don't even do that. They just go ahead and put the screws and it's not a big deal. The screws are all at the bottom and except for the ones that go up through there and they don't look that bad, but uh, I don't know what they cost, but I think I spent like 60 bucks on nut plates and, and covers from Cub Crafters. They have those and the part numbers are in my forum post telling you what you can, what you can order for the nut plates and the little covers. So, uh, like I said, the video, the uh, manual is is off on its measurements. Um, if you try to, if you go back over there and, and start measuring this stuff, and I think the ones on the sides here did pretty good here, but most of the stuff along the bottom just doesn't add up. You can start in the back and come up with five and a half, then six and a half, then five and whatever, and it shows it's over here, but it's not, it's over there. So, if you notice, each one of these the floorboard this is the floorboard okay so but the floorboard has cutouts it doesn't show you that in the manual 
So here's cut out. So this is the end of the floorboard here. Here's a tube. So here's the floorboard. Here's the floorboard. It does the same thing, see, all the way back. So by doing this before the cover's on, I make sure I go on the inside, make sure the panels are all fitted nicely, hold them in place, that they're down, you know, fitted at the top. They're down touching the floor as much as possible. And then I come back over here to the outside. And what I do is I look at the manual and it'll, it'll just say, it'll just show you that you're getting two uh, in this little piece right here, in this area, right before where they join there, okay? And this is actually the last one in the line here because you put this one in and the last joint inside and then you'll, then you'll come back over. So that, that connects these two panels together and to this floorboard. And then I just come back over here of a nice edge distance and I just add another one. So I've got two in there. And then they show having two more kind of up this way. So I just go with an edge distance from here to there and just something else back over here. I come up, I believe most, I believe on this right side, it's 70.75, three quarters of an inch up off the floor. And I believe the other side was uh, 0.6 up, but it doesn't matter. Just bring them up. I just go up underneath the lip, make sure I got plenty of room for the nut plate, make sure it's going through the floorboard, you know, correctly. And then you can drill from the, this side, click code and drill. So all your click codes can be from this side. Very easy to get to with the exception of a couple of them. I would also, I would do this before you put fabric spacers on both sides because there's always one last one that's gonna go in the floorboard right here. You have to come in here with this angle drill sideways and put your number 10 drill through there. We talked about the tape, you see, you see here, after I've drilled the holes, where then I go back and mark exactly with little arrows where those holes are. So it's easy later when you're installing them to line those panels up and know where they're at. And uh, th these back panels, they're, I think they changed them a little bit, but I'll just, and you can't really show you completely because I don't have my floorboard in here to show you the final app installation. But you'll notice a lot of times that this floorboard, this piece was way long. It would just drag on the bottom. Well, you go to the top and make it fit nice, make everything fit good here, bring it here. Make sure your joints here are right and so forth. And go ahead and start at the top, put them in there. Then when you get down to this one or above this tube right here, you have all this excess down here, maybe. These, these last ones, I think they changed it so you don't have so much excess. But what you then do, can you can actually pull this up, see how I can move the bottom up or down. So if, I, if this is dragging the floor and it needs to come up, something to get flush, just push it over where it's flush bring this up and it, so you can squeeze this. See, when you squeeze it, it'll bring this line up or down and you can get it over there and install your pieces. You see, I haven't done these yet because I'm waiting for my floorboard uh, to go in. But that's how you can fit a lot of the panels. This is this is serial number 94. And then I think the last one I had was 68 or something. And 68 was, I still had to pull that up and squeeze it to make it you know fit. Otherwise it was way too long. I'll probably have to do this one too. You can see back there in the back. I also don't put, let me go around here. I'll show you. When I'm doing the excess baggage door, I don't put that. You have to add on the EX3, they built in the Fairlead right here, welded it into the fuselage. So obviously it has to meet and it does. This is where your rotor cable is going to go through and going through the back. On this side, you have to install the Fairlead bracket on here and i do not go by the dimensions they give you they've been wrong what i do if you see if you see there what i've done is i have marked see the magic marker there here and here so after i installed this panel i came up with the magic marker and i put a line there and i put a line at the bottom of it so what i'm going to do is later i'm going to that's where i'm going to put my fairly there's a fairly with a bracket on it I'm gonna put it where that round part of that fairly is right there, perfect. So just hold off on that and do it after you fit this panel and you'll be having some perfection, okay? We talked about how you had to, these cutouts, you had to cut, take your covers off. You know, these covers that come on it, you had to take, take those off, of course, and that lets that slot be exposed and you can bring your levers over like that and slide your panel on and you move them back over and, uh, It'll hold them in place until you get your tape in. So I guess that's about it. 
you know, it'll, the manual's pretty good on the other stuff. I know, like I said, I just showed you how I just split the side ones up to where they look right. See this side here, I just, I ended up with just two, one there and one there, just like the other side. Then I had one here. On this side, this bottom one will not go through the floorboard, okay? Because it's just thickening out because we've got this defroster coming through here, which again is the, is done separately now. This is a separate piece now. Instead of being molded into the fuselage like the early ones were, you just made it kind of a pain getting this through when you're installing it through this gap because you had to take the whole side panel and push it through. Now this goes on separately. And again, it goes over the top of this bar. There's a bar, a little bitty small tube coming through the fuselage from there to there. So this piece goes over that bar and then it goes down and there's three screws that go there. We'll connect on the inside there later so so anyway yeah so that one so this one does not connect i used to try to push it in enough and try to make it go into this floor where it won't do it it's, it'll it's going to stay out there okay which is plenty of room um i guess that's about it so anyway hope that uh kind of helps with the putting these interior panels in place and it sure is a nice thing to do in advance.